Hey, give me a boxer stance now. A boxer stance. We're in the press. Give me a little boxer stance. Move that back leg out. Let's go. Move that back leg out. That's where it started at. I mean, I wouldn't say like I'm obligated to do it or, you know, like people want me to come out here and do it, but I just feel like I need to do it. You feel me? I want us to three people, you know, and so I'm taking everything I done learned ever and I'm giving it to my White House, you know, and I'm giving them that mentality that I had last year because I was a guy that was real vocal, you know, and that was real on the guys, let's go type, hit a guy in the helmet type stuff. I mean, that was me. But we got a lot of guys out here that look real easy going. You know, and I just felt like they just need my little touch here and there. You know, just a little tune up here and there. Because Coach, Coach Jones is doing an excellent job, man. I mean, I say it all the time. You know, I tell guys he's kind of like a mixture between Coach D'Antonio and Coach Kelly. You know, he's, he's real nitpicky to the detail and real a finesse guy like Coach Kelly. And then he's real physical. He hit you in the mouth guy like Coach D'Antonio, and that's perfect. You know, we had we went from being a power puncher in the mouth to a finesse get out of the way. So now we got power in for this. So, I mean, like I said before, I feel like Coach Jones is the best fit for us. You know, and he's all about the kids here, and he's all about the guys here. And then, like I said, the first time um, I met him, he said, anything you need, you come to me. And so I said, Coach, you know, anything you might need from me, you know, I got you. You know, so I'm out here, and it's nice to know that I can be out here and Coach just looks past me as one of just, he looks at me like I'm one of the coaches because I'm out here on the field. I'm literally one of the alumni that come out, and I'm literally on the field. I'm yelling at these guys. I'm fussing at them. I'm trying to give them little little hints here and there to do this and do that. And the position coaches are just kind of leaning back and just like, hey, let Mario do his thing. You know, because they uh, totally agree with what's going on with me and what I'm telling these guys. So it's always a blessing to be able to come out and just know that I'm welcome, you know, here. Um, because I'm one of the alumni, I strongly love my school. You know, I bleed red and black. You know, that's what it is. And like, I love this school. I mean, bottom line, you know, I love the city and I love my school. You know, that's the main reason why I come out. And these guys are guys that's been with me, you know, through my tenure here, some of these guys. You know, I've been with some of these guys three years, some of them two, you know, maybe four with some guys, you know, stretching it. But um, like I said, man, it's just been a blessing to be come back and be one in here and be able to be around my guys out here and just to show them because they don't know a lot of stuff. You know, um, they're so used to, I mean, once you, once you get older, it seems like the older and older you get as an athlete here at school and at any school, you know, you start to get, uh, it's like coaches get a little bit more lenient on you, you know what I mean? But the thing I like about these coaches, they always ask them for more, and that's how you should be, you know, and that's why I come in there, because I'm always demanding more from these guys. We need you to line up faster. We need you to catch the ball, snatch the ball faster. We need you to run your routes faster. We need this. We need this. You know, not you, but we, because they represent me too on the field. You know, once you're a cat, you're always a cat. And that's the way I see it.